So it's been a few weeks since I updated the church on where things are at and where we are. Working on a blog post about that, you'll find that on our website, and this video will be attached to that as well. A uh, couple things. One is, I can't believe it's been a month since we've met together in the church, and uh, boy, uh, lots changed. And um, the questions that come up, like, when will we be back in the building? I don't know the answer to yet. Uh, I do know that when we do get back into the building, there'll be some changes initially, of course. Uh, we'll continue to have an online service as well as the morning service, uh, just because there'll be some people who are vulnerable and can't make it and that sort of thing. But more on that as we come uh, closer to that date. <clears throat> I don't know when that'll be at this point. Online worship has been uh, pretty amazing. We've had significant responses to that. I'm, I shouldn't be surprised, but I've I've been amazed at, at the, the reach of that, and uh, thankfully the Lord is using that. So I thank you for tuning in, for sharing, for inviting friends, and uh, using social media to kind of get the word out on those things. So keep doing that. It's working, and people are uh, listening, and so I'm grateful for that. Uh, we've had this week <clears throat> uh, the uh, care, what they call them, not care, but joy, <laughs> joy bags that uh, Cassie put together for the Iwana kids and they were delivered today and so I'm um, glad for that. I think that's going to be an encouragement to them. Working on getting some things out for the Sunday school kids and um, the youth group has been meeting via Zoom each week. Last week we had a Alliance Youth National Webinar event that some of them were involved in. Uh, next week the Alliance Youth Office is, is hosting a life conference replay. So we're gonna be promoting that and engaging in that in whatever way we're able to, to just encourage our students and our families. And and you could be a part of that too, really listen in on that and, and see how the Lord might encourage and challenge as we awaken to new things. That was the theme of life conference last year. A couple other things coming up. Next Wednesday, we'll be hosting an online communion service that's going to be just as simple as it sounds, a simple communion time. You can get your elements, whatever they are at your house, and uh, join me online 7 p.m. on Wednesday the 29th for communion. After that, I want to try to have a Zoom meeting. Anyone who wants to join in, I will moderate that. We'll have some uh, conversation pieces there. It'll be a short meeting, but the idea is to see each other face-to-face, -face, share how the Lord's working in these days, as well as maybe how we can be praying for each other. Speaking of needs, I want to encourage you, if you have not had a chance to at least reach out to one person, would you consider doing that? These are times when the church can really be the church in some really neat ways. So find somebody, get the directory out, call one person, send an email, send a, a letter in the mail, an email, whatever you think might be encouraging. And then can we be honest with you with each other? If there are needs that you have, uh, would you let someone know that? It might not be financial, or it might be. I know a few years back when we were at our previous church, I guess it's been more like five years or so now, we had a time when we had a medical bill that was unexpected and didn't have a whole lot of money coming in, and we were the recipient of some benevolent money, something we'd never been a part of before, but was grateful that it was there for us. And so it's hard to ask, but if you have a need, please let someone know. And you might be able to meet a need. Maybe it's a simple maintenance thing. Maybe someone needs help with getting their lawnmower started. I mean, I don't know what it could be, but just be honest. And if you're able to meet the need, meet the need. If you can't, reach out, let me know, let the church know. We can try to find someone who's able to help. But if you can do your part to connect each other, it makes a big difference. And I thank, I thank you for doing that. So in the coming weeks, we'll have more information about reopening, what we're doing next. Um, there's just a lot of things kind of we're waiting on. But keep praying, keep leaning in. I keep saying that, but lean in. Easy to lean away, easy to kind of get discouraged and to just wait and sort of tread water. We're not called to tread water. We're called to advance. And I think we can keep doing that. I was thinking of this verse, last uh, verse on the bottom of the, the blog post if you want to see that, but 
it says this, this is Hebrews chapter 12, about the unshakable kingdom. Isn't that great? We are receiving, it says, a kingdom that cannot be shaken. It cannot be shaken. That means no virus, no financial collapse, no political turmoil, no diseases in our bodies, no fears that we have, nothing it cannot be shaken. So let us be thankful and so worship God acceptably with reverence and awe for our God is a consuming fire. Amen. Look forward to seeing you soon. And in the meantime, keep doing what you're doing. Keep looking to Jesus and keep the faith because he has given us an unshakable kingdom.